Hi, my name is Jiwon Kim, and my senior project is stained glass. In three years, I took pottery, ceramics, handwork, self-exploration through art and stained glass class. Last year, my art class was stained glass with Chris Larson before shutting down because of COVID-19. At the beginning of the class, I didn't even know how to cut and make art with glass. And I was so scared of the really tiny pieces of glass shattering and flying in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but the more I experienced making stained glass, the more I enjoyed it. Also, I wanted people, especially who are sick or depressed to see my artworks and be happy and bright. bright. This is a whale that I made during the class. So I thought I could make some pieces confidently without getting tired of it. And my original idea was to sell them to raise money for the school, but I changed my mind. Finn, who is my advisor, recommended that I donate them to nursing homes or hospitals. Okay, so how are glass and stained glass made? Glass is sometimes made naturally by lightning. I read one article that says one bolt hits the air to 30,000 degrees Celsius. That's five times as hot as the surface of the sun. When a bolt of lightning strikes a sandy surface, the electricity can melt the sand, which makes fulgurites. Glass's main ingredients are sand that is composed of silicate and SiO2, which is silicon dioxide and an alkali. For manufacturing glass, people who are making glass put the sand into a furnace or a kiln to melt it. When it becomes liquid, you can see that it glows like lava, but it is not lava. Then they make the liquid flat by pouring into a flat shape and it cools down becoming solid glass. How about colored glass? We can make colored glass by adding metal oxides or metal powder. It depends on how much we put it. In glass history, the man-made glass was found around 3500 BC in Mesopotamia and Egypt. Also glass vessels were found in 1500 BC. People have used glass from a long time ago till today. For colored glass in the early fourth century, like Kyrgyz cups were found in that period. In cathedrals, we can find stained glass windows in countless Catholic churches across Europe. Until the 12th century, these windows were simple, small and thick iron frames that is called Romanesque. Then it was replaced by the Gothic style, which emphasized height, big scale, and thin frames, like this. Here are two examples of contemporary glass artists. Here's Jack Storms, who is a glass artist. These are some kinds of his work. And here's Dale Chihuly who is making these kinds of art with glass. So history aside, I actually, for my project needed to make it. I'm going to talk about some tools and process at the same time. I sketched that I want to make and I tried to make my sketch not so curvy. Then I use a printer, which is a school to copy what I sketched three times. One is for counting numbers, another is for cutting all the pieces, and the other is for keeping and using as a reference. And the printed paper, which is for cutting, I use Sharpie and make thick lines. Also making my sketch bigger than the original is better for making stained glass. After I cut all the pieces, I choose the glass that I'm going to use. 
Oh my God. Then I draw all the pieces with a Sharpie on the glass that I chose. And I use a glass cutter to cut. And this one is also glass cutter. I will show you. <laughs> when you cut the line, cut as a crescent moon shape and use a glass pincer to break the piece you cut. Also, when I'm done cutting glass, I sometimes use pliers to cut irregular parts. This is board for cutting. If I cut glass here, tiny pieces go to the square holes. It prevents the pieces from spreading. Here's a grinder from the studio where I worked. I use it when I need to grind some sharp parts. Then I wash all the glass in order to tape. I use a copper foil tape to surround glass. I measure the glass's circumferences. Then I cut the tape. I take off the paper part a little bit and wrap around the glass and fold, fold the edges. But I need to use a tool to make it stick to each other and remove the air between the glass and the tape. I usually use a pen lead. And here's a video again. I use a small fan, a soldering iron, a wet square sponge to clean the iron, my shards. Also, I use this liquid flux bottle to coat over the solder lines and a small bowl to pour the liquid flux and a brush. I make the metal melt by the iron tip and drop the globs between the, the, lines, the lines to connect glass to glass. I make the metal melt again after I drop all of it and spread along the line to make it smoothly. Here's a video again. <laughs> cool. When I want to make a hanger or a hook to hang, I use these copper wires after I solder. The wires that contact the glass need to put some flux and solder it. Last, I have to wash my artworks because I use the flux. So when it becomes dry, it looks like stains. I'm going to use, I'm going to talk about my first big project. I made a mandala. At the end of September, I had a meeting with my mentor, my advisor, and my host mom. Before I had a meeting with them, I was already organizing my plans, materials, and questions to ask them. My first plan was making a mandala for YHS. The left photo, the left? The right, photo. right photo is from school. And this left photo is from Zoe's clipboard. When I saw this sticker on the board, it inspired me to make the mandala a lot. <laughs> Here are some processes. First, I started to draw a mandala, but it was hard to make all shapes same as original shapes. When I finished sketching, I talked with my mentor and I needed to restart to make it more simple and big. But I was struggling to divide a circle to 10 pieces. <laughs> so I needed to look it up on Google, like how to divide a circle to 10 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> to draw it, I spent two and a half hours. 
and I used a compass. It was like, I need to use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I finished redrawing it. It took almost four hours and I met my mentor again to check whether it is okay to make it or, or not. And I made the lines thicker with a Sharpie. I counted number, it was 101 pieces. Chris, who is my mentor, suggested making the mandala bigger than I sketched it. So I had to cut it half and half and make um, stick to each other. Originally, I was going to choose YHS core value colors, but I couldn't find the colors I wanted. So I just used some colors from the school art classroom. I mentioned like this so far. During the process, Loma, who is my host mom, Sumi, who is my Korean English teacher, and I went to visit the binary stained glass studio, which is located in Madison. Susan Manek, who lent me her art studio, recommended visiting there because there are a bunch of sheets of glass, artworks, and tools that people can buy. So when we got there, Sumi proposed changing some colors for mandala, and she chose some colors for me. Actually, I hesitated to change the colors because I had already decided the colors, cut, ground, and taped them. But here, new colors. It's like the center is the sun, then came the trees and the leaves, and at the outer edges, edge is the sky. So, I, I brought the mandala. Yeah. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay. And here's photo. This is not the final photo of the mandala because I'm going to frame this to hang. Honestly, I didn't expect the numbers of pieces, like 101 pieces, and the size of the mandala. And I took so much time on this mandala, but I'm really glad that I finished this. So I brought mandala to show you guys already. And then after my um, senior project, I'm going to give this mandala to be. <sighs> okay, then what else did I make? I made two whales. From that time, I didn't care about the steps like copying three times, sharpening, make it thick lines, recording all the pieces, etc. Actually, I didn't talk to my mentor about this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just sketch it a whale. I guess I was in a hurry because I thought I didn't have much time enjoying my work or taking my time. I used the same way when I made a second whale. So here's the first one. This is the second one. Okay. Okay. After I made the mandala and two whales, I was so exhausted. So I just drew this and sharpened it. <laughs> and I chose the colors and I put the wires. It looks like clothes wires, but. <clears throat> Ju, who is sophomore, drew this for my project and chose colors of glass. I kind of feel we worked together and cutting those pieces was so hard because those were so small shards. The total number of pieces in sketch was 49 pieces. <laughs> After 
I soldered this. It looks so fragile. I guess you so fragile because the head of rose was heavier than the stem part. So I asked Chris to help. She suggested moving the leaf to a different position. So can you see? Yeah. Once I had to make an art for the silent auction, BK Ramsey researched kinds of easy design for making stained glass. Then I made this in a day. So I just follow the line and I just donate this. And I made this another day. From now on, I just Googled some designs and follow lines <laughs> on paper. <laughs> this pinwheel, again, with, I mean, I just donate it. I donate this to the silent auction too. And I made another pinwheel like this. This is flower design that I followed the line on my paper. Um, after I washed this with soap, I saw this through the sun. It was so bright and pretty. And I just wanted to try different colors for this. But I think I like the first one. <laughs> and here's butterfly design. Ajin, who is junior, chose these colors for me. So Bin and I went to the nursing homes, which are Bethel home and Creamery Creek on March 28th. It was so windy and sunshine, so I couldn't open my eyes. <laughs> and I have an Instagram account. If you research with this name, you can see my working time-lapse videos. I really appreciate Chris Larson who accepted being a mentor for me and advised me. Also Bin Voss, who is my advisor, encouraged me a lot and helped me to donate my pieces. And I'm really grateful that Sean helped me to make my senior projects go so well. Loma Ha, who is my host mom, trusts me and just looks after me. I appreciate Ajin and Jiu and Sumi who helped me almost every time I went to the studio and pursue me, especially choosing the colors. <laughs> and Susan Manek, um, who is so kind, lent me her space to work. I appreciate Karen Innes, who makes frame for my mandala. Last, I just really appreciate YHS teachers who made me experience art. Thank you. <laughs> Look, someone wrote something in Korean. What does it say? What does it say? You see it? Oh my God, Miranda. Miranda. Is that Miranda? Yeah. Is it in I love you. Good job. I love you. Good job. Way to go, Miranda. That's so thoughtful. We're so proud of you. Beautiful details. So beautiful. Beautiful work. Stunning. Wow. Gorgeous. Reduce the size of the slides. That's okay. okay. All right. Um, uh, beautiful. What was your favorite piece to work on and your favorite piece at the end? What was your favorite piece? Um, I guess mandala. Oh, the mandala. Are you going to make more? Says <laughs> Ajit. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of that. I mean, I, I, I'm going to decide yet, but yeah, I'm trying to make more and then sell them for school fundraising. Nice. Do you take commissions? Like, if, if, if someone were to ask you to do a design, would you do it? <laughs> if you make simply. <laughs> <laughs> that rose is amazing. I would want it. <laughs> um, a, a, a question from the Zoom here is uh, Did you say how long it took you to make the large mandala? Do you know how long it took you to make the large mandala? <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half hours to draw it. 
I mean, I took a lot of time for this. I mean, even though it was not my purpose for this project, but yeah, I, <laughs> I spent a lot of time. I don't. I, I didn't like what is, record it. What is time? Yeah, a, yeah. about a month. I don't. The boss family loves you. Um, uh, Shahan, do you have a question? Oh, how can you make me one? <laughs> wow, okay, we got requests. Oh. Uh, that's great. Maybe. Yep. The question that you should say, show me the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what, what did you all do at Bethel, um, Bethel Home and um, Creamery Creek besides just take a picture out front? Why were you there? Oh, to donate um, all of my pieces that I made. So, um, except mandala, I made 12 pieces. So I just divide six and six. So I donate six of them to the Bethel home and the rest of goes to um, the Creamery Creek. Creamery Creek. <laughs> These are beautiful, wonderful projects. Yeah!